are we going to get into today? Well, to, this is video three of our peach brandy. Today we're going to do some proofing and then we're going to finish off the brandy the way we want to. And that's to come. Okay, these all, t but first things first. Welcome to Steelworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and, brand and brewing. Ooh, I'm all mixed up already today, and I haven't had a drop to drink. That's terrible. Okay, these all taste good. This is what we're keeping. So let's put them in our mixing jar. Smell is fantastic. Let's get a quick reading where we're at right now. Okay, we're at like 110 proof. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. We add one bottle of water. see where that is that might be just about right uh, actually I will go just a little bit more Okay. Wink that up. That is at 45. So 90 proof. 45. I think I'm going to leave it right there. I think I'm going a little bit, a little bit warmer than I'm used to. Okay. So that's 95. All right. So what we want to do is let me get some room here okay so I got me four quart jars here I'm going to divide this up into quart jars for now Those next three, I'm going to put 750 milliliters in there. I got a little bit left over. Okay. Get those out of my way. Put some lids on these for right now. these I gotta save for a little while so I got three quarts of good peach brandy well let's give it a taste and see how it tastes oh that's interesting 
I mean, of course, I'm going to say you taste the character. I mean, it tastes like brandy. Now, if somebody said, is that peach? No, you're not going to get that. Uh, but it's got a good character of peach. So that is fantastic. All right. That is very good. All right. So what I wanted to do is, let's see. I'm going to take two quarts and I want to age it on wood, okay? And I'm going to save it. Two quarts I'm going to age on wood and this would be one quart that I want to keep clear, okay? So let me go ahead and get that in. I think I'll just leave it right in there. Okay, so we're going to keep that. Alright, so there's brandy number one. Just plain old clear uh, peach brandy. Tastes delicious. Very good. Okay. What I wanted to do with this is I want to age this. Okay. So let me get set up and then we'll do. Okay. So I'm gonna make this an each a aged peach brandy. Uh, what I've read and people told me is, say the oak just brings out the flavors in that. So I put it back in my mixing jar. And what I want to do is, I want to add one ounce of oak chips. One ounce. Come on. Okay, I'm going to add two ounces, I'm sorry. Two ounces. Come on, get there. Two ounces of oak chips to that. Okay. So, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a lid on that. Once I spill. So. There is, that will be our aged peach brandy. Oh, that's going to be good. All right, now for a third way, let me get set up for that. Okay, for our third way that we're going to make this peach brandy, this is going to look awful familiar because it's just a few weeks ago. Remember I made some peach shine and we used, you know, our regular, uh, uh, Moonshine base. This time we're going to use peach brandy for our, our peach moonshine. I thought that might give it just a little extra. So let's do this real quick. So we got our white peach grape juice here. We're going to put that in our pot. Yeah, this is all just like we did before. Except you know what? It's all gone. Um, it, it, it was well received. Okay, so what we want next is we want to put one cup of white, just plain white sugar in there. One cup of sugar. Okay. And four cinnamon sticks. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, so let me grab a spoon. Let me, all I'm going to do is heat this up, and then uh, we'll get ready to uh, finish this up. Okay? Okay, so we warmed this up, got all the sugar and all the melt, let it simmer just a second, let it cooled down. It's cool. All right. Now we're going to add in a quart of our peach brandy. Mm. 
This is going to be fantastic. Alright, so we added in our quart of peach brandy. Give that a little bit of a stir. Alright, so I got, I think I said before, these are not quart jars. These are 750 milliliter jars. That works out perfect for this. So, what we want to do is we want to take them cinnamon sticks out. And I am going to put them one in each jar. So let's uh, ladle this over, and I'll tell you what: if you if you missed the uh, the other peach shine video, it turned out very good. It didn't last very long. So if you get a chance, because now is peach season. I mean, we're right at the top of the peach season, I believe. Um, this is fantastic crap. Again, put it in the refrigerator, keep it in there, let it get good and cold. Uh, I usually try to pour it on a little bit of ice. You sit outside and you will not be disappointed. And that's why I had to make some more because uh, I had some friends that actually didn't get some. I don't, want to get, I don't want them to get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you what, the best thing in this hobby Besides making great spirits and great moonshine, one of the most satisfying things is giving to people that are your friends so they can enjoy it too. Okay, I need a little jar for me. I'll just use this one. Okay. Now, I'm really curious to see how this will taste compared to my rubber peach shine. I mean, the color is beautiful, of course. Ha 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 Mmm. Damn, I don't know which one. The peach brandy just brought the, the, the flavors of the rubber peach out of, the, out of that juice. Now this one only has a little bit of cinnamon because that cinnamon in a little bit, you know, after a week or so, it gets, oh, that is, woo, fantastic. Damn, you can't get no better than that. Oh, love it when a plan comes together, you know what I'm saying? 
But I'm looking really forward to that aged peach. I mean, it's starting to change colors already. Look at this. See, it's starting to change colors already. That's going to be fantastic. Because you remember, that, that was the color of that crystal clear, right? Alright, this has been a real fun experiment for me. Um, actually, this is my first time making peach brandy. I made apple. Uh, I made a few other flavors, but peach brandy is wild. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, for the recipe of the peach moonshine, go back on the playlist, or I'll put, I'll try to put, if I remember, I'll put a card up here on it for that, um, because you can either make it out of shine, you can make it out of peach brandy, you can make it out of vodka, uh, either way, it's all going to be good, it's all going to be good. Welcome back, that was the best part of this whole project, we're going to finish this up, I got my peach brandy here, three different ways, kind of. So uh, let's see what they taste like, all right? Well, first we're going to try, this is just a clear peach brandy uh, with nothing done to it. It just, it's a uh, 90 proof. It's a little bit hotter than I normally make, but that's okay. That's what I wanted. I mean, I can smell, I'm going to say I can smell peach. I mean, it's just a, a little hint there in the background. It smells very pleasant. You know, maybe a fruity smell. And, of course, a lot of alcohol smell. All right. Wow. That is very pleasant. Um, I think it's, well, it tastes a lot like, like your clear, um, spirits, uh, they would be great for mixing with anything or just sipping a little, little on ice. I mean, that's the way I like it, but it's, it's neat. It's very nice. Uh, I can taste like the, the character of a peach. You, if I gave this to you, you could say, that's peach. Uh, but it has that character of peach and. And it is very, very pleasant. So I'm very pleased with that. Okay. All right. So, number one, the clear peach brandy is fantastic. So what should we try now? All right. This is the peach brandy, and it was aged on oak. All right. I've read and a lot of people told me that the uh, oak really brings out the flavor in the peach, in the brandy. So let's see how that goes. I mean, if you can see, uh, see the, col the color is beautiful. I mean, it's clear, brown but clear. Uh, very similar aroma as just a clear peach, but I do smell a little bit of the oakiness coming through. Mm. I can't wait to try this one. I haven't tried this yet. That is a very good brandy. I mean, I don't know if I could tell you I taste peaches. It's about the same as this. Oh, but it's very pleasant. Oh, I mean, really, really pleasant. A little bit pleasant. Oh, that's a sipper. You could sip that no problem at all. Uh, I do really like that. That is very nice. Okay. Well, that's our peak brandy aged. Taste wise, it's very rich. Uh, uh, is that the right word? Fulfilling. Mouthfeel is great. I like that. A little bit over top of the clear. Uh, 
So that's a, that's a big winner. All right, so that was the second way that I did the peach brandy. Now this one here, I guess it really ain't a peach brandy, but I made my peach moonshine, but instead of using a corn-based shine like I normally do, and I made just a few weeks ago, I used the peach brandy as the alcohol base for this recipe. All right. So this, these are like 90 proof. This should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 20, I think, 25. I mean, of course, the color. We got the peaches in it, got cinnamon in it. But now, that definitely smells like peach. This one's been in the refrigerator. Oh, that's why it's kind of fogging up because it's been in the refrigerator. Just keeping it cold because I like it cold. Uh, over ice is the best. Just plain over ice. That is fantastic. Uh, it's a different category than I would say these spirits. These are more like spirits. This is like a moonshine cocktail. Um, so it's a, it's a different category, but it was made with that. Mm. You could drink that all night long. Well, you might get in trouble if you drink it all night long. It is very good. All right. Well, that's our three different kind of peaches. I hope you liked this series. It was a lot of fun for me. Um, I wonder what that tastes like if you used uh, with oak. Ooh, that might be interesting to try. Ugh. All right. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this series. It was a lot of fun for me. Um, I guess the last thing I got to say is... Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Ah. Very good. Very, very, very good.